Hey guys, vlog style skincare Sunday. So I'm doing seven days of sheet masks. So stay tuned if you want to see seven sheet masks and me talking about them, rambling about them. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, today I'm using the Avatara. I think that's how you pronounce this. I love them though, they're so sweet. This is their Shape Up face mask. They are super supportive of smaller influencers and I absolutely love that. And it is supposed to restore elasticity so skin can look and feel its best with this exclusive cocktail of energizing ingredients, which is what I need this Monday. Um, it is paraben-free, silicone-free, mineral oil for mineral oil free, frustration free backing for a delicate skin. So we're going to go ahead and kind of just smush all the product together. I feel like it's been forever since I've done a sheet mask. This is super watery. It's like dripping down on me. A lot of essence though. That's not a bad thing. Let me just peel this backing off. All right. Here it is. It's already starting to dry down, so I wanted to hurry and get it off, but it feels really nice. It's a good soothing um, one. I definitely, I think the claim was like for delicate skin. I definitely see that because it is such a just cooling, calming sheet mask. Um, so if you have sensitive, delicate skin, highly recommend. And um, the cooling sensation I definitely think is pretty like energizing. Like I'm definitely awake. Um, it feels really nice though. And there's still leftover serum, which is really nice. I do feel like my skin's pretty glowy today. All right, stay tuned for day two. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, it's day two, and I took this one out of my mini fridge back there. This is the Karuna. I think that's how you say this. You guys can see it right there. This is their antioxidant face mask, um, serum infused cloth mask. Let's go ahead and get it on. I have used one of their masks before. I've gotten like their full pack through, I believe, FabFitFun in the past. Um, it literally looks like the one from yesterday. Um, less liquidy, I believe, but it has like the same plastic ordeal helping you get it on your face, which for these type of masks, I don't really feel like it's that, that helpful. I feel like it's more wasteful than helpful because they're just like cloths. You know, I feel like you could just put those on without. It's so cold from being in my fridge. See, I just kind of feel like these are like kind of a pain in the butt, honestly, like, and just more waste. I would rather just, if it was like a jelly sheet, I understand more, but like just these standard cloth sheets, I don't really see the need to have those. You still have to arrange it on your face anyways. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. I feel like my skin is pretty glowy. Just like to press in the rest of the excess. I can say follow up on yesterday's mask. My skin has felt really nice. I feel like there wasn't a huge, huge difference, but I feel like there's a lot more essence with this one, which I really like. It does leave my skin very tacky, which I feel like is good if you're just gonna go into like makeup right afterwards or if you're going to bed, you could even put like, if it's too much for you, cause it is pretty tacky. You can kind of see like my hands kind of like sticking to it. Um, you can put like a moisturizer on top, double hydration. Um, but I really do like this one though. I feel like it's very hydrating. It was really nice wearing. I think the having it in the fridge with the cooling sensation really, uh, really helped with that. But, um, overall I'm pretty happy. And I feel like it's another one where it worked really well with being very gentle too, which usually is the case with sheet mask, um, which is nice. But yeah, I feel like my skin is really glowy. Hello, hello, day three, and we're doing Okay is the brand. And this is the Coffee Bean Hydrogel Mask. And I'm really excited about this one because 
um it is a two-piece one but <clears throat> excuse me um hydro gels are always meaning it's like the gel like like the under eye jellies that type of ordeal and i always usually prefer those like type of masks over regular um so it's all wrapped up in here i'm gonna go ahead and put this on and then we'll look on the back for like any extra thingies um i don't think it matters on which one you put on first but i'm gonna go ahead and put on the bottom part there is a lot of waste i feel like with these as well just because there is like all the things to like help you put the mask on a little bit easier but on these there's actually this pill too so you have that one and then you have the actual mask and then you have another thing on the outside it's so cold i actually smell coffee which is really nice I know that's not like everybody's cup of tea. I actually really like it. That's why I have a coffee bath bomb in my shop. <laughs> I love the coffee scents so much. It's not like really strong though. It's just very mild, but it is there. Um, but I'm assuming these little specks you can kind of see are coffee. But yeah, when you first go to put it on, it smells like straight up coffee. But once it sets on, you don't really notice it anymore. Antioxidant coffee bean hydro gel mask. So it's an antioxidant. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. This one's very cooling, very soothing. And you're just supposed to, in circular motions, rub it in. feels really nice and I feel like my skin is very moisturized but it's more than anything I feel like this one would be like a really good one for like if your skin's like really inflamed um so like inflammatory issues and that type of ordeal if it's like really red because it's very even though this one wasn't actually in my little skincare fridge it was I just had it sitting by it um so this wasn't even one in the fridge and it was very cooling very soothing um, so I feel like this is a really good one if you have really irritated skin. I feel like it was very gentle and it's antioxidant mask, which is great too. So I'm really impressed with this one so far. I think this has been my favorite so far for this video. I'm excited because we're going to be doing a gold mask and I got this in a face Tory. And if you don't know what face Tory is, they are a sheet mask subscription, skincare subscription. I used to get them all the time and then I just got so overwhelmed with so many sheet masks and although I try to use sheet masks, doesn't always happen. So we're going to try this one out. I did just wanna mention, I do have an affiliate link um, or code or something like that, I believe with Face Tori, if you do wanna try them out. I have gotten so many amazing sheet masks from them. And honestly, it was just so easy. They have like three different tiered um, subscriptions. So you can kind of pick what best suits for you if you want a lot, if you want less, if you want skincare or just sheet mask. It's really nice. Um, but on top of that, I feel like for me, it was nice growing my collection. And then like now I haven't been currently getting them because I have so many already. Um, but if you need some pampering things, I know I say they're wasteful and that type of ordeal, but sometimes it is nice to have a little pampering sesh and you can get the smaller subscription so it's not um, an all the time thing. And I believe you can also like pause your subscription, that type of ordeal too. So I can just say they are a really nice um, self-love subscription um, for your skin which is always great. Um, this is like a standard sheet mask, but you can see how it is gold. I'm gonna feel so bougie with this. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on this mask. Oh, I have the paper flipped around. I was gonna say, you guys can kind of see, my skin is kind of like, almost like purging right now. Like it's just very, ugh. And it's been, like I said, a few days since I've done the last sheet mask. Okay, this one doesn't really, this one's so big, like goes up into my hairline, doesn't want to stick and lay down. I'm gonna go ahead and put the top one on too real quick. But yeah, if anything, it's a subscription to kind of get um, 
a little bit of a collection together or if you're just wanting to try it out and just get a few um you can do that too because they have like a little marketplace i do highly recommend them it is a um women a woman owned business and they are so sweet um i've had some a couple of them comment on my videos in the past and were really sweet um so yeah i've always recommended face tori if you're into sheet mask or um k beauty skincare that type of wordell i know i look crazy right now um but this is the gold ducks egg gd2 foil mask i think i'm saying that right i could be saying it wrong though um it says, who's ready to try the world's first breathing foil mask? Nicknamed the breathing mask, this foil sheet has 360,000 micro holes to allow better absorption um, and moisture penetration deep into the skin. Other foil masks tend to be a single sheet without any air holes, which can actually block absorption of the essence due to the sheet mask becoming too damp and not having any circulation. In addition, the spoil mask has a length of, yeah, it says 27 centimeters to help cover every little crevice of the face rather than stopping midway to the hairline and chin. Okay, they were not joking when it comes to this absorbing a lot faster. I literally can't even keep it on. It's just like absorbed so fast and it's only been like 10 minutes. So I had to rush back in here because I was doing other things, but let's actually take a look. But yeah, it like absorbs so fast. If you're in the market for a sheet mask that works really fast, um, maybe check it out, but we'll see my results tomorrow. Um, if I'm ever like really blown away by a mask the next day, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Um, so far, like I said earlier, I feel like all the masks have been pretty good so far. I've been pretty impressed, um, but definitely the coffee one I think has been my favorite so far, but we will see with this one. Um, I like that it's big for like anyone, but I kind of think it was a little bit of like a hassle. Like it's like all in my hair, stuff like that. I can say that, but I'm just, I'm still blown away by how fast it's absorbed into my skin. Like the quickest sheet mask I feel like ever. <laughs> hey guys, today I'm doing a dark choco mask, deep hydration and refreshing. It looks like a little candy bar. It's so cute. Um, I wanted to touch base on yesterday's mask. Um, I did do a detox mask since then as well because my skin, as you guys know, is looking pretty rough. So I feel like it's looking a lot better though since. Still have a little bit going on, but not too bad. Mm, this has a scent to it. I wouldn't quite say it's a chocolate scent. So don't get your hopes up on that. It is very, very saturated though. And it's like a milky essence, if you can see that. Okay, got completely cut off. I already put the mask on. Um, it's very wet. It like literally was all over the place. There is a lot of essence in this, like so much. And it's very like milky-like, but I don't wanna ramble on too much. This is from Face Tori as well, but you guys seen that from the last mask that it's a Face Tori mask, so you know all those details. Um, but I wanted to say that this one says, who knew that a sheet mask can make me love chocolate even more? The mask was a perfect solution for my combination skin and eczema. Ooh, I have eczema and combination skin. I don't really have eczema on my face though, but it's not only moisturize my face, but also help battle those pesky inflammations. Safe to say you need to try this mask. Coconut extract is in it, um, containing high levels of antioxidants. This ingredient promotes the production of collagen and elastin, while the caffeine and other compounds of this ingredient help tighten the skin to reduce inflammation. Awesome. Um, there's also quinoa seed extract that contains vitamin E to help nourish and moisturize the skin by promoting skin elas el elasticity. Why can I never say that? I'm gonna go ahead and just pat it in. There's so much essence. I'm gonna try to see if it'll dry it up, but it's a lot. Hey guys, day six, I believe. We're close, we're getting there. It's definitely not been seven days in a row, that's for sure. Um, but six sheet mask is from BioBell, another brand that I really like. I do really like their sheet mask. 
Um, and I believe this one has like a pattern or like different colors on it. Sorry if you hear noise. We're snowed in, so you're just gonna hear noise. Um, but this is an energizing and it's supposed to illuminate your skin as well. It has pineapple extract and glycolic acid and it's rise and shine. So I'm excited. It is paraben free, gluten free and non GMOs, not tested on animals and it's made with natural extracts. Go Bio Bell. But yeah, I have been sent masks from them in the past. They're so sweet, um, but I've used their mask for years now and really, really enjoy them. And yeah, they're just so cute. Look, there's little pineapples all on them. They're so cute. I feel like this one is gonna have to be like Instagram stories worthy. Oh, it smells good too. And it's like natural scented. It's not like really heavy fragranced with anything. Like you can tell it's just like natural scents. And there's so much essence. Ooh, it just like flew. Oh yeah, it keeps flying everywhere. <laughs> All right, so we'll leave this on. I just dropped the packet, but I believe these are like 15, 20 minutes as well. You guys know the drill. I just won't let it dry down and then I'll be back. All right, here I am. It's drying down. I was like vlogging and stuff and was like, oh my gosh, I have to take this mask off. It's drying down, but there's still quite a bit of um, leftover essence. I'm just going to rub in but I can say my skin is looking beautiful from that mask. I think it was another win. So far, I think I've loved all of these. I, I've kind of filmed them scattered, um, but so far I would say this has been one of my favorites. I also love the, um, is it the Karuna? I think that's how you pronounce it. That brand was really nice as well. I felt like the aftermath and even the next day, my skin was just super like dewy and glowy looking. So I really liked that one and the coffee, the one that had the coffee in it from OK. That one, so good too. I think those two and then this one today has been my favorite so far this time around, but we have one more um, that I will hopefully do tomorrow so I can get this video up soon. Hey guys, I'm finally going to be finishing up this video. I am so excited. It's been a very long day, so I am really excited to be masking. I'm going to be using the Face Tori Glow Baby Glow. And like I mentioned, I do have, um, I believe a link with Face Tori. Um, so first it's a two-step mask. So first we have this little packet and then we have the sheet mask. So this is a soothing ampoule. Am ampule, ampule, is that how you say that? Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my skin. I just washed my face, I took off my makeup, did my little double cleanse moment, did my cleanser, and then um, toned already. So now we go into this, which is going to act, I think, as like our serum. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. But yeah, it has been a long day, so I am so ready for this. It's super liquidy, Ooh, like goes everywhere. Then I'm gonna go into the brightening and soothing mask right afterwards. I was supposed to wear this for 15 to 20 minutes. And I also just took this out of my skincare fridge. So it's like nice and cool. It's gonna be even more soothing on the skin. Oh yeah, it's really nice and cold. My skin is needing some love, but I'll be back 15, 20 minutes and we'll wrap up this video. About 15 minutes. This is supposed to just be very soothing and brightening. I feel like I've done a lot of those masks recently for this video, but honestly, it's what my skin has needed. So I'm not mad about it. Um, overall, I really like how this one is looking. Like my skin looks very dewy, glowy afterwards. And then in the last part, I talked about the other ones, the coffee mask. I'm still obsessed with that one because it was like the perfect consistency um, being like the hydro like jelly type and having coffee in it and stuff. I thought was really cool. And I loved how my skin looked afterwards. Um, I also love the Karuna, um, if that's how you say it. <laughs> 
um, and also the BioBell one that I used the, as that was my last one I used was really nice too. So I've been really impressed. I don't think, I think a couple of them were just kind of like, mm, not bad, but like none of, I didn't hate any of them. I can say this one has a little bit of a scent and my skin is like really like tacky, but I'm probably going to go ahead and put some moisturizer on and call it a night anyhow. So um, yeah, I just wanted to do a final check-in for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you've tried any of these masks and if you want to see more of these type of videos. It's so hard with sheet masks because I can give you my first impressions on like how my skin feels, but a lot of the time they're moisturizing and my skin is dewy and glowy afterwards. <laughs> but um, if you do like them and you like to just see them so you can see um, what type of sheet mask it is, if it's a hydrogel or a standard sheet mask, um, if it has a strong scent, how it looks, the color of it, um, and that type of ordeal, then I'll for sure keep doing them. I have plenty of sheet masks to do them, so yeah, just let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good rest of your weekend. Make your week great, and I'll see you in my next video.